Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can easily use SignalR in a Unity application. A prerequisite for the video, you will need this DLL and all of its dependencies downloaded and put in the plugins folder in your Unity project. When working with Unity, often you have to work with external DLLs and uh, downloading them and downloading their dependencies and then searching through them for the specific version you need could be a difficult and an unpleasant task. That's why the next video I will make about would be on how to actually do it in the easiest possible way. That's for the next video. In this video, we will make a real-time chat application. Here I have four running instances of a Unity application. And let's say if this guy says hello, the other guys receive the message. If this guy says, how are you doing? Then these guys receive the message, good, and yeah, you get the idea. All of these clients are connected to a server that is running locally on my machine, and the communication client to server and server to client is handled by SignalR, and as soon as the server receives a message from a client, it takes that message and instantly sends it to all of the other clients. Having that in mind, let's sum up what SignalR actually is. It handles real-time communication, client-to-server communication, and the most important part is the ability to have the server push content to connected clients instantly as it becomes available, rather than having the server to wait for a client to send a request and then to send a response. So, enough talking, let us start with the coding part. First off, let's make the server logic, which is an ASP.NET Core web application project of type Web API. Let's start off by making a new folder. We will call it hubs. And in there, we will make a class notification hub. Our new class would inherit from the class hub that it's part from SignalR. SignalR uses hubs to communicate between clients and servers. A hub is a class that allows a client and server to call methods on each other. So, what do we want the notification hub to do? We want it to receive a message from a client and then take that message and send it to all of the other clients connected to this hub. So, let's write the endpoint that would receive the message from the client. Now that the server has received the message from a client, we need to take that message and send it to all of the other clients. So we write in await clients.all and dot send async. And what does send async do? It invokes a method on the client by a given name. So the name would be on message received and we pass in the message. Currently, the server would send that message to all of the clients that are connected to the hub, including the one that has sent the message to the server. And we want to prevent that. Instead of sending the, the message to all of the clients, we can send it to the others, excluding the one that has sent it, that has called the endpoint. And that's basically it for the server logic. The only thing left we have to do is uh, to go in program.cs and map the hub to a specific endpoint. So we write in notification hub and in here and we are ready. Moving on to the front end, this is the class that handles sending requests and receiving responses from the server using SignalR. Currently, it doesn't do anything because I deleted the method implementations and I will write them again from scratch. Just a quick run through the class. This is the application URL of the backend that we just did. This is the address of the notification hub, just how we mapped it. This initialize method, it's called only once for initialization, just like the unity start method, 
you can use it instead of this one. This is uh, from an external package. Uh, this broadcast message method, it's used when you send a message to the server and this event action on message received, it's invoked when the server sends a message to us so that it's, uh, it's displayed in the user interface. Let's start off by establishing a connection to the notification hub on the server. It is done only once, this is why we will do it in this method. But first, let's declare the hub connection. Now that we have declared it, let's write in connection. Press new. With URL of the server address combined with the hub address. And to start the connection, we type in await connection.startAsynt. But before that, I think it's the right place for us to handle the situation when the server sends us a message that we have to display. So the server would invoke a method on the client and we need to have a handler for that. And we type in connection on the name of the method was on message received and the server sends in the message and what we will do we will invoke the on message receive event and we pass in the message and after that, this message will be displayed in the user interface. So, what have we done so far? We have initialized this connection object. We have made ourselves a handler for when the server sends us a message that we have to display. And then we start the connection. The last thing we have to do is when the client sends a message to the server, we have to type in await connection dot send async in here we put the name of the endpoint method on the server so if we go to the notification hub on the backend the broadcast message method basically the name of the method we copy it and we paste it here and also we pass in the message And just to give it a quick test, we can see that everything is working correctly. Thank you for watching guys, you can like and subscribe for more content. If you have any video ideas, you can also put them down in the comments below. Thank you again, see you soon.